I wish I was joking right now. If there's one thing you all may or may not know about me, it's that I own a lot of clothes. A lot of clothes. Which is all fun and games until you need to organize said clothes. And then now I have a feeling I'm gonna have the urge to never buy anything ever again. I've been meaning to make a closet cleanup video for a while now because my last one was about a year ago, but I have been putting it off because I just don't want to have stress and fear in my heart. Which is ironically the reason why I'm doing this now because I really need to organize my closet. Like, it is not looking good. So of course, whenever I psychologically torture myself, I must film it and take you all along for the journey with me. I'm not even gonna waste any time. We have to get into it because I already know that we're gonna be here for a while. Just to show you all what we're working with, this is my current closet, clearly not looking the best. I do have shoes on the floor. My dresser over here also does not look very good. Very disorganized, a bunch of clothes on top. There are also bins of clothes under my bed, which are pretty embarrassing. So here's loaf to prepare you for that. <sighs> I know there's dust under here too. Um, I do have these bins with the lids not even on them because I just kind of grab stuff out of them and then throw them back under. Um, and I know I need to take care of that. I can't get a very good angle on my closet because my bed's right here. So this is, this is just gonna have to work. Even though my precious baby angel is sleeping so peacefully on the bed right now, I fear I'm gonna have to take everything out of this closet and throw it on the bed because I just think that's gonna be the easiest method. I'm so sorry for what you're about to experience, baby girl. Here are all the clothes from my closet stacked on top of each other, and that was a big feat because Loaf remains undisturbed. This is kind of embarrassing for me. Um, here's my shoe rack, and here's the stuff that fell in my closet that I am now going to pick up. If you notice me sighing a lot, just know that it is an involuntary, instinctual biological reaction to what is happening here. <laughs> I got this top last year on Depop and I do really like the boat neck and one of the reasons I bought it was because of this little rose pin. Um, I do think I like it. It's a little small on me so I'm kind of unsure of whether I'm gonna keep it or not but it's kind of small in like a snatching way you know like looking a little snatched so I think for now it's a keep. If I'm looking a little raggedy I am sweaty and my hair is sticking to my face so Let's not talk about it. Even though I am the one that brought it up. This top does make me feel like I should be a pirate that is invading a field of flowers. And by invading, I mean lying down and having a nice nap. Near the flowers, not on top of the flowers, because I am an ethical and eco-conscious pirate in this scenario. It's a keep, I fear. This is just a comfy, nice shirt for me to wear, and I, I think it looks pretty cute, so... It's a keep. This top was just sent to me by Tunnel Vision, so I'm keeping it. To quote a word that my friend Kat has so lovingly and decently introduced me to, this top is Kuntenhausen, so I am keeping it, but I'm gonna put it away for winter because this is a surprisingly warm sweater and I'm, it's doing its job because I'm already starting to sweat. Although this is technically a top, even though if I did remove my hands right now, I would probably instantaneously be banned by YouTube. It is more of a cover up, so I'm gonna keep this and use it at the beach during the summer and also for spring, like it's so easy to just throw on over a dress. This vest is really cute and it does fit me very well, but unfortunately I have not worn it since I bought it, like I literally showed this in my last uh, closet decluttering video from last year and I have not worn it since. So, but it's just, it is really cute. I think just every time I see it in my closet, I'm not really sure what to do with it. So if anybody has suggestions, please let me know because it is a really cool piece. I love the pattern. I love the fit of it. It's just, 
it, it confounds me. So for now, this top is a I don't know. I got this top last year from Suki Suki Vintage, which I'm pretty sure is not their name anymore. And I cannot remember the new name off the top of my head, but I will put a screenshot on the screen. The bell sleeves are just really beautiful. And this top is just chef's kiss it's amazing so yes i'm keeping it i swear to you all that i will actually be getting rid of clothes but that will probably come when i clean out my dresser because i do have a lot of stuff in there i want to get rid of keeping keeping sorry my face is just so itchy for some reason and i'm gonna chalk it up to cat hair don't get a cat okay at least one with fur if you don't want your face to just randomly get itchy all the time just kidding i love my cats and yes i did say plural cats because my co-host come here baby girl my co-host is no longer a only child and i'm putting her down because she does not like being picked up and also i was not holding her the best i am aware of that okay i am a good mother i swear quick second cat story for those who care today's tuesday so on friday evening my boyfriend was helping me take outfit photos outside and this is really funny because we walked on a block that we don't usually walk on even though it's near where we live and I was taking photos when we heard really loud meowing and we weren't sure that if a street cat or somebody's cat in the window that was just being really loud so we decided to put on our investigative caps and we followed the cries we did find a little tiny baby kitten crying behind a trash can in an alley and we waited to see if maybe its mom would come back and no cat came back except one cat that I thought might be his mom, but he got really scared of the cat and hissed and the cat just kind of walked a few feet away and watched to see what was going on. And he eventually came over to us and the rest was history. We did take him to the vet already. He has the proper food. We got him kitten milk replacement. He's doing well. He is a very rowdy baby boy. And I would tell you his name, but we're not entirely sure yet. We did think of naming him Bobka and that's what we seemed to have agreed on for a hot minute because we kind of wanted to keep the bakery theme with our other cat being named Loaf also known as my co-host for the real ones who know. We're also thinking of Cappuccino and calling him Chino for short. I'm not really sure. I've looked up so many names in the past few days, but if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. Keep, keep. Clearly I did not button this top down all the way because this apartment has no central air and the sun comes in through these windows, so it gets pretty hot. But here's the gist of it, and I'm definitely keeping it because I love this top. Keep This top's kind of hard to try on because I don't have anybody here to help me zip up the back. But just know that you will probably have to try to pry. I put an emphasis on try to pry this top from my cold, dead hands whenever I happen to perish. So, keep this top is very similar to that other shirt I have that I'm pretty sure says 72 on it, except that top is a little bit more comfier than this top, specifically in the arms. These are just a little, it's not like unbearably tight, but just kind of slightly uncomfortable to the point where I wouldn't really go for it or wear it if I wanted something quick and casual. So I think this is a maybe get rid of. That's it for tops. And I think I never truly realized just how many dresses I own until I started making this video. But I own a lot of dresses. So for that reason, I'm feeling very intimidated right now, which is why we are going to pivot to dresses so I can get all of those out of the way and hopefully feel slightly better. I really used to love this dress a lot and I do think it's really pretty and has some really great detailing, but unfortunately it's just a little too small on me and I think I've outgrown it. So this is gonna be a sell. I do really love this Desigwell dress. I remember when I found this at the thrift store, I was so happy and excited. It's really cool, but unfortunately I do think I've outgrown it. It is pretty tight in the arms. So this is a sell, a very sad sell. I feel like I have such an attachment to this Tyler McGillivary dress. It is very cute. I don't know if it's entirely my style anymore, so I'm very indecisive and need your guys' help. So what do we think? Keep or sell? Once again, I love this dress. It really does spark joy, but it is a little on the tight side in the bust, which is crazy for me because I have small boobs, so I rarely get to say that. So for that reason, I am leaning towards sell. 
I think the hardest part for outgrowing clothes for me is not the fact that I've outgrown them, but the fact that I have to get rid of them even though I'm attached to them. But it's okay because then I can free up space in my wardrobe for clothes that actually fit me, that I will actually wear instead of holding on to these pieces that don't fit me that well and are just taking up space. I don't love this dress just because it doesn't make me feel particularly cute at all, but I do think that sometimes you just need a casual lightweight dress to wear during the summer when it's just really hot and you don't know what else to wear. And this dress does have pockets, so for those reasons, it's a keep. Keep. I had to put my hair up. It was just pissing me off in so many ways. This dress is cute. Don't get me wrong. It is a good, sorry my nose is itchy, staple Um, and it would be nice to wear during the summer except for the bust. I don't like the, that the bust is this material. It just makes my boobs feel weird and I don't enjoy it. So for that reason, I don't think I'm going to keep it. I do really like this dress. What I don't enjoy is that my boobs are basically completely visible every time I do wear it because of how thin it is. But I can just get a white or nude bandeau and wear that with this. So it's a keep. Also, it is really cute if I wear like a bikini under it during the summer. So there's also that. Dress with pockets. Need I say more? Keep, keep, keep. I love this dress, okay? I adore it. I don't really reach for it a lot, I think because I'm not a fan of the neckline, but I am thinking of maybe like pinching it here and changing the neckline a bit because this is a beautiful vintage dress. I love it. Um, and I, once again, you can try to pry it from my cold dead hands. Once again, I love, love, love this dress. Don't really love the neck here just because of the slip. I don't have big boobs. I could see how this would be very helpful if you did have like cleavage, but I don't. So I do think I would wear this dress way more without <laughs> this piece here, just so you just saw the cow neck. But yeah, love this piece. So keep, keep. I am very much not in the mood to put on a slip right now. So here's this dress without the slip and I'm going to be keeping it. This dress just hugs my body so well, and I love it for a night out outfit, so keep. This is a sell. Sell. Unfortunately, I do have such an attachment to this dress, so even though I do not wear it a lot and it doesn't fit me the best, I would rather keep it in the family, so keep. I remember when we were moving here, I thought about getting rid of this dress, but honestly, leopard print is just so timeless. I do really appreciate the black lace detailing up here, so I think I'm going to keep it because I think this would be a really cute going out outfit or dress. I bought this last year before I went to Italy because this really reminded me of the polka dot realization bar dress, but unfortunately, I've never really worn it. I don't reach for it. It is very cute. It's just not completely my style anymore, so it's a sell. Keep. When I bought this dress, I was like, oh, it's giving Paloma wool, but I actually think it might be giving whatever the hell the opposite of office siren is, so it's a donate slash sell. This dress has a really cute ribbon detail in the back, and I just really love this dress. It is pretty short, so I usually wear jeans with it or pants or a longer skirt or something, but it is a sweater material. So for me, at least, it's getting a little too warm for this. So keep, but I'm putting it away under the bed for next autumn. I do tie these things in the back, like the little loops you're supposed to put on the hanger just to keep this from falling down. But yeah, keep, keep. Once again, not a dress that I love, but really good for those summer days where you don't really know what and you just need clothes to put on. Plus, it does also have pockets, so keep. Definitely keep. I'm pretty sure this is the last dress in my closet. I have no idea what's on top of my dresser. I'm going to be so real with you all. Not one clue. But that's tomorrow me. Because today me is only focusing on my closet. So up next, I'm going to try on all my jackets. But before I do that, I'm going to take a quick break. But it's okay, because it will be instantaneous for you guys. The marvels of technology. Let's kick some jacket ass, shall we? Also, sorry if you hear any car or nature or human noises outside. I did have to open the window. I just need some fresh air to make me feel 
like a human being. Definitely a keep. I'm not really a big fan of yellow, but I am a big fan of this little guy. So I'm kind of unsure whether to keep or give to a friend. Keep, but I'm going to be putting it away with my winter clothes. Once again, I'm kind of indecisive because I do really like this bolero and this detail right here, but I don't love the sleeve length. It looks like it shrunk on me. So... I am indecisive. Help me, please. Keep. Definitely a keep. This one is difficult and it makes me sad because I do really like this jacket. I think it's so cool. It fits me great. It's so sexy. But the problem is, is that it is faux leather. So the back is peeling off. And when I've researched it, apparently there's not much ways to fix it besides adding a fabric panel. But I don't know if I want to do that. So for now... This is an I don't know. I am so indecisive right now, but I think this might be a sell. There is a white string tangled around this thing right now, and I am not in the mood to deal with it. So right now, it's just going to be there. I guess this is technically a top. I'm leaning towards donate, but I'm not sure if I should keep and just put it away with my winter clothes. Keep, 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 keep. Once again, I do really like this jacket, but it is faux leather, so it's also starting to peel a bit and I don't really know what to do with it. Well, 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 look who's finally awake from her literal catnap. My co-host finally makes another appearance. Yeah, that's what I thought. She's not as present of a host lately just because she's kind of disturbed by a tiny little kitten that is currently being quarantined in our bathroom. She's not very fond of him yet, but I hold hope in my heart. I'm not really a huge blazer person, but I am kind of trying to get more into them, so I think this is a keep. This cat cardigan is one of my favorite cardigans ever, so I'm definitely keeping it forever. And Loaf has made her bed on my pile of jackets. I definitely cannot button up this jacket, but it is my mom's denim jacket from the 80s when she was my age, so I'm definitely gonna keep it. I used to love this denim jacket a lot and it still is very cool but it's definitely way too tight on me like my arms are being squeezed right now so this is a sell. This is technically a sleep jacket so it fits in the category and it's a keep. Once again I am very indecisive so I need someone to sway me one way or the other and because I have manners I will even throw in a please. I actually thrifted this cardigan when I went thrifting with Arabella who you may all know as Lil Rotini and I do love this cardigan a lot like look at this goose it's just it's perfect but I am going to be putting it away with my winter clothes. I don't remember whether or not I said I'm keeping it but just in case I am keeping it. Whoops, this was beneath all of my jackets. I did forget to try on these overalls when I was trying on the dresses. Um, I would try them on, but I am tired. And also, I already know that they're going to be pretty tight on me. So I am going to be selling these. By the way, everything I'm selling will be on my Depop, which I will have linked down below. I just realized the overalls are not the only thing I missed. I also forgot to try on this dress which I love, so I'm keeping. I'm sorry you can't see the full dress, but it is just a long dress. It kind of goes down to my ankles, and it's just a plain black bodycon dress, and I will be keeping it. And for my final act of the day, I did take all of my shoes off my shoe rack. I'm gonna clean the shoe rack, and then I'm gonna put all my shoes back on there nicely, but I'm not going to be showing that or trying on my shoes because I just don't really see a point. But I will show you all what it looks like when I am done. Also, before I put my shoes away, this is the current state of my closet. So there's a lot less clutter. I have a lot of free hangers. And there are skirts right up here, but I'm not going to be trying these on today. I'm going to deal with it tomorrow when I try on the skirts that are in my dresser. So before and after. <laughs> It is officially day two of me, I was going to say cleaning out my closet, but it's not just my closet. It's every receptacle I have clothing in. So today, it's the dresser. I kind of feel like a weatherman right now with the green screen, but it's real life, unfortunately. I think my game plan is that I'm going to take everything off of my dresser, put it on the bed, try it on, and then go drawer by drawer, take everything out, put it on the bed, try it on, and then put back whatever I'm going to keep. Thank you. 
this shirt's from strawberry western and it is really cute it's a great just casual oversized tee when i want to wear something quick and easy so this is a key would you believe me if i told you this top was a size medium it's actually a size extra extra large i swear it um at least that's what the tag says but it is very tiny it does say unemployed and beautiful on it and has a rat which is great but unfortunately, because of how small this is, I think it's a donate. And here's the tag in case you did not trust my integrity for some reason. Snoopy T. Need I say more? This top was also sent to me by Minga London. And it's definitely not an XXL, but it is still way comfier than the yellow rat shirt. So I will be keeping this. I wore this last week, so it's freshly washed. And when I tell you, it was not fun trying to get this over my head. Unfortunately, I am the ITGIRL. Thank you, Aaliyah, for the It Girl anthem of the summer and of the century. So it's a keep. 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 This top is cute, but I don't love it, especially because it's really similar to my skin tone and it's just a little tighter on me. So this is a sell. Also, if you see these little red marks all over my chest and arm, no, I'm not breaking out in hives. I have a little stinker boy in the bathroom who every time I take him out, Loves to sink his claws into my chest. So that's what that is. Keep. I don't love this top. Like, it doesn't really serve any fashion purpose for me, but it does serve a utilitarian purpose in that I like wearing it when I'm just doing errands or chores or going to work out or something. So it's a keep. Vintage Wet Seal Y2K Core 2000s 90s Antique. Oh, sorry. I was just imagining what my hashtags would be if I listed this on Depop. This is vintage wet seal scary words to put together um and it's a keep this top is really cool i'm a little bit indecisive because it's a, it's like a tree frog as you can see super cool um but the only problem i have with it is that the neckline is kind of high so whenever i lay back in it or sit back it starts choking me a little bit but it's too cool to get rid of i fear so it's a keep. By the way, anything I show that can be linked to a website and purchased, I will put in the description below. And with that being said, keep, keep. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Can somebody tell me not to cut my hair short? Um, I think I'm just sick of waiting for my hair to grow out more. And I'm like, just cut it. But I know if I cut it, I'll be like, why did I do that? It's a keep, I fear. Keep. Okay, my mic died, so I had to take a quick break, which is fine, because I'm just, I'm a hot-blooded person. Like, I just get overheated easily, and I don't like taking on and off clothes. Like, it just overstimulates something in me. But we are back, we are feeling better, and this top is a keep. Keep. Do I hate turtlenecks? Mm, yes. Does this top remind me of Lorelai Gilmore? Also, yes. Therefore, it's a keep. I'm really unsure about this top. I do love it. I think it looks really good on me, but it is a little tight, and I think I'd rather find a top like this that fits a little better, but also kind of snatches me once again. So I think this is a keep until I find something like it. So yeah donate or sell this top is just kind of tight on me and i don't really reach for it a lot so it's gotta go i'm kind of indecisive about this top i do think it is a really cool shirt i just don't reach for it a lot because i don't love the fit of it but i do think that is something that i could probably like fix on my own so it's a keep i like using this thermal as a layering piece for autumn and winter so i'm gonna keep it but i am gonna put it away with my winter clothes once again picking a loaf hair off of my face this is the last top it's just a tank top so i'm keeping it because i love a good staple next is skirts and i have a lot of them like a ton so i think i'm gonna speed around the skirts by just trying them on and putting on the screen whether i'm keeping them or selling or donating them
I know the title of this video says trying on everything in my closet, but I just cannot try on my sweaters right now. Like it is not cold enough outside and I will lose my mind. With that being said, I did forget a few dresses that were on top of my dresser, so I'm gonna try them on now. Key, I can't zip up the back right now, but I promise you it fits better than it looks, and this is a keep. Also, look at the cute little rosettes here. They're just so adorable. I literally put on this dress and just realized now that it's inside out. I'm doing fine, I swear. This dress is definitely a keep. And there's also this top I forgot to try on. Sorry, I'm a very forgetful person, clearly. But this is also a keep. Sorry, my baby girl wants attention, but she also hates being picked up. But also, I'm trying to work. Being a single mother is so hard. I'm not even a single mother, um, but it feels like that when I'm home alone with them all day. Sorry, I have to film from down here because Loaf wants me to pet her on the floor. Anyways, I did rest and I took a break and the room has cooled down a lot because I have the windows open. So I'm gonna try on the sweaters now. <laughs> hairdo is kind of giving founding father but regardless i do really like the look of this sweater when i'm just standing here but if i like move at all it just rides up and i looked at the tag it is a size medium so i don't know i don't know what i was thinking when i got this um i do really like it but i think i would rather sell it and then find one in my actual size that won't piss me off every time I wear it. This sweater is really cool, okay? Like, I love the sleeves. I love that it's furry. It's so unique, but also simple. But it is kind of itchy, so I never really reach for it. So for that reason, I think it's a sell slash donate. I do think this sweater could be really perfect for someone. I just don't think I'm that someone. I feel like I'm gonna regret this a lot once it's autumn and winter and I'm like, hey, I got rid of all of my sweaters just as it started getting warm out. Bad idea, but I think this might be a sell. Okay, I love this sweater a lot, so I will never be getting rid of it. I will never be parting ways with it willingly, so it's a keep. I wish I was joking right now. I legitimately am very much struggling like I'm pulling my hairline off trying to get this on my head so this is definitely a sell I guess love this sweater love this shade of green I think it looks so good on me especially with my ginger hair like it just like scratches an itch in my brain keep this one's a keep I do think I want to have it taken in a little just so it hugs me a little better but I do really like just having a basic black long sleeve. This is the last sweater in my dresser, although I do have another plain black off the shoulder sweater hanging on the bathroom door. But my new kitten is in there and he's napping and I don't want to wake him up and get him all rowdy. So you're just not going to be able to see it, I fear. I think I might be saying I fear too much, but I think it's okay simply because I do fear a lot of things. So at least I'm being truthful. It's day three, which means it's time to tackle the bins underneath my bed. And we're gonna do this quickly. One, because I'm tired of cleaning up my clothes. And two, because I have therapy in about two hours. Am I gonna tell my therapist all about my new kitten that loves to terrorize me and bite my hands and arms? Absolutely. Will I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders once all the clothes in my room are actually put away properly? Yes. Well, I also feel worse and immense pressure because there's a huge pile of clothes staring me in the eye every time I come into my room and I know that I need to list them all on Depop or donate them. Also, yes, because I'm a multifaceted human being. <sighs> I guess it's time to bring out the clothes, isn't it? Yay, cleaning. Okay, here are the bins. I do have another bin of clothes that's full of winter accessories, but we are talking about clothes today, not accessories. A lot of it is sweaters and cardigans, and some of it is also summer clothes that I had put away for the winter. This is the pile we are working with today, so not that bad, but just so you all like have a clue of what's happening. But nevertheless, we are going to be tackling it today. Words cannot adequately express to you all how much I love this dog vest and will never be getting rid of it. Like, look at this. Is it just... It's just so good. I do also have this cat vest that also doesn't fit me anymore. And I think I'd be more willing to part ways with this one just because I've seen this fabric print a lot at thrift stores. And I feel like I can find something cooler online that actually does fit me. I know without a doubt that this dress is too small on me and does not fit me anymore. But 
I do want to keep this in the family. I know I'm not usually a fan of holding on to clothes that I know are too small for me, but this is just so beautiful that it's something I would willingly hold on to for like a future child or niece or granddaughter or something. Like I I apologize, but this will be sticking with me at least for now. Every time I do a closet clean out, I think about getting rid of this top because I have literally never worn it once. Why? I don't know. It's really cool. I love the print. I love the one shoulder, but I have never worn it. And maybe it's an issue that like, I think my outfit needs to be super special to wear this because it's a cool top. I think for now, this is going to be a keep, but I'm just going to put it in my dresser so I can actually see it when I'm getting dressed instead of keeping it under the bed for some reason. Unfortunately, I do think it's really hard sometimes to get rid of clothes as a fat person because you never know when will be the next time you'll find cute clothes that fit you. And I'm a small fat, like I'm a size... 1820 so I do have privilege in that sense but it's just kind of hard especially now with so many brands just not really caring about plus size women anymore and they don't have plus sizes or they're cutting back on their plus sizes a lot so it's hard times out here. There is this mysterious large stain on here that I'm pretty sure has been here since last summer and I'm not sure what it is but if any of you have any tips on how to get stains out of white clothing I would very much appreciate it. I am absolutely not wearing this tube top right but I am too lazy and too pressed for time to fix it. This is the exact same tube top but in pink and unfortunately I just don't really wear pink a lot so I think this is a sell. I thrifted this top last year in Italy. It is a Cirque du Soleil top and I think it's really cool so it's a keep keep I'm kind of indecisive about this horse shirt it is really cool so if anybody's interested name your price and that will be my deciding factor <laughs> just start your own little auction in the comments also if you're wondering why I'm holding my mic like this I'm mostly just trying to make sure you all hear me while also not blocking the shirt like if I hold it like this you can't really see what's going on you know keep too overheated to try on this tube top, but it is just basically the same as the other two tube tops, but in a slightly more beigey tan color. And I think this is a keep for now. Actually, I don't know. I might get rid of all the tube tops and just repurchase ones that fit me better because those are all just a little too tight on me. Also, this is a keep. Fun fact about me, but I absolutely love funky grandma cardigans, so I will literally never be getting rid of this ever. Keep. When I got this, I thought it was really cool and I still do do. I'm not sure if I should sell it because the arms just are the little tiniest bit tight on me and I honestly have not worn it so I'm unsure if I should like give myself a time frame to wear it or get rid of it or if I should just sell it now. This sweater is so cute. I'm really upset that I didn't wear it this past autumn or winter at all. I really like these grommets and when I thrifted this my idea was to put ribbon through here and I thought that would look really cool and I still do so this is a keep. Keep. I've had this top for years and I feel like I've never worn it because I didn't really know how to but I think this would look so cute over a dress so this is a keep. I moved my camera so hopefully you can see it but this is just a cute tan midi dress. It does need to be steamed and also cleaned. It's been sitting in my storage bin for probably the better part of a year now so this is a keep keep this shrug is definitely a donate slash sell it is way too tight on me this shrug just makes me so happy so it's a keep i'm really indecisive i always end up keeping this just because it is really pretty but i don't know Thoughts, ideas, opinions on the shrug would be welcomed. This shrug is a little small on me, so unfortunately I do think it's a sell, but it does have some really cute roses over here, so I think this will make someone else very happy. Unfortunately, the strap of this dress did break off, which could be a pretty easy fix, but the material is just very thick and warm for the type of dress it is. Like, it's very mini so this might be a donate. I'm not sure. This is a really good dress to wear during the peak of summer because it is flowy and cottony and just great. So it's a keep. Oops, I did forget this top, but it reminds me so much of Sex in the City. Like this is 100% something Carrie Bradshaw would wear. So it's a keep. And the shorts are also a keep. I already know these Bermuda shorts are going to be extremely polarizing. But that's okay because I think that they're very comfortable and cute and casual and they definitely need to be washed and steamed. 
but these I will be keeping. When I thrifted these capris, I thought they would be so cute and they have this little tie right here. I thought I would wear them a lot, but unfortunately I never have, so these are a donate. Oh yeah, there's also this rave harness that I cannot fully try on because there's nobody here to zip up the back and also my boobs will be out. But this is definitely a keep. The last thing from the bin is this hand knit top, which I don't want to try on because I'm not 100% certain it still fits me and I absolutely do not want to break it. But I will put photos on the screen of what it looks like on me and the artist who made it. Ladies and gentlemen and people in general, we did it. That's it. We did my closet, my dresser, and the bins under my bed. <sighs> I already feel like I need a nap. These are the clothes from under my bed that I'm keeping. And this gigantic pile of clothes is the cumulative pile of everything that I am donating or selling. I don't even drink that much, but I do feel like I need a 10.30 a.m. cocktail. Just a joke, just a joke. Um, I'm fine and I have a therapy appointment today. I'm good. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly hope you enjoyed watching me be psychologically tortured. And if you enjoyed this video, please thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment if you feel like it so you can support me and my channel because now I have an extra mouth to feed. Me, Loaf, and probably Bobka will see you all in my next video. Bye.